How's it going everybody? This is Vanguard Badlands bringing you another 7 Mortal Sins X Tasty video. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's get into this Should You Summon video. Alright, so what's all new? We'll see. So we got coins and Hiana scrolls. Kazuna Tower, oh my favorite. Oh, I love the Kazuna Tower. Update on the EX Evolutions available cast added to this week. Lord of Greed Moana. Mamona, or so, I, I don't know. Angel of Temperance Raphael. Game of What? Game of Hegemony? Don't hold on. Let, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. I was about to say, what the hell is this? New season pass. The gotcha costume selection. Okay. So the Cosmo Tower, we got this. Log in every day for ten days before October. 11th and you get your stamina your scrolls diamonds gems yeah collect those we got the game of hegemy this is actually pretty easy I love this event and as <laughs> if you can see I already got the skill plus one of Siri. This, to be honest, I actually pulled her in the free steps. And if you think I'm lying, look at this. Look, look, uh, real quick. Real quick. I believe she, yeah. We already got her. Yeah, so we got her. <laughs> but and she's so easy to get. Um, this is my first time getting a character right on event drop. So I don't know if I'm going to be farming this event. But let's go check out her shop. It's super easy. You can actually farm this event and actually get a dupe of her or one copy of her if you're missing her for the point event. Not gonna lie, this event is pretty easy. See, we dropped down to 9,000, but I, it's okay because you know what? What we you know, it's more crazy. These used to be 50,000, now it's 45,000, which I kind of find bullshit. You know what's crazy? These grimoires are 22,000, but her dupe is 1,800, and Oh shit! We got trainers! Sorry, I was yawning right there. We got trainers! Oh, five star trainers! Oh, I like that! Woo! These, this shop actually looks busted! Yes! I actually do like this. Oh shit! That's a lot! Okay, so we got the gems for her if you go through the gem route. Okay, you know what? I believe I have gems right here. Let's go ahead and spend these. Uh, no, we're going with karma all the way. We have to spend these because if we don't, they go away forever. Uh, we're going to go with this. And then coins. There we go. Before I forget. Now. We also got the game of Hegemy. And we're going to do Should You Summon. Alright, let's get into this. 
Oh. Now, this is a quick event. This this event, I don't know. All right, Fox of Syria. Siri, plus 15, technique, level 90, HP, 12K, 1500, defense, 900, speed, 1000. A, a uh, yeah. Attack is average. HP is slightly below average. But let's read our skill. White. Knight, deal 80% attack as damage three times. After dealing damage, the cast has a 40% chance to remove stun from all allies. Not a fixed chance, but a 40% chance. Targets one enemy, damages them three times for a hundred or 240 damage, I believe. Yeah? 16? 16, 16, 24, yeah. 240% attack as damage. In total. Uh. Yeah. This skill is. Um, hmm. After dealing damage. It's after dealing damage. Okay. Second attack. Five elements. Targets three enemies. Deals. 280% attack is damage after attacking recovers the HP of all allies and removes stun. Okay, let's read that again. Deals 280% attack as damage after attacking recovers the HP of all allies and removes stun from them granting them stun immunity for two turns. HP recovery equals around 140% attack 140% attack. Mmm. So you want to boost her attack really, really high. Nine and her ultimate. Nine star fox. <sighs> I'm so tired. All right, range. Three enemies. And deals 290% attack as damage after the action. Grants three random allies invincibility for one turn. Invincibility removes all debuffs and blocks all damage. Unstackable. Pretty cool. I love her ultimate. But remember, you have to get, you have to, get to it. And it's a CD5. Now, Fox, Moon, her passive skill. Hide weakness 4. Right? Yeah. I, sh I should see it too because it says four right there. Damage taken from advantage type minus 30%, which is pretty good. If you're facing a strength type character or a power type character, she's taking 30% less attack. Okay. Harmony. Harmony, my bad. At the start of the turn, remove stun. Dedication delay. Three. When knocking out. When knocked out by direct damage, the move gauge of all enemies minus 60%. So that's pretty cool. If she dies, she just. Pretty much takes 60% move gauge of all ally or all enemies. Saying, fuck you for killing me too fast. So the route you want to go with is high HP, high attack. And what do I think? Uh, yeah, she's... She was a decent character in the beginning, but she dies so fast with her defense so, so low, which is to be expected. But if you really want to, you can increase her defense, her attack, and her HP all together, 
you don't have to focus on her speed, but yeah, her shards, whatever shards you're giving her, make sure her defense is slightly above average. And her attack is really high because remember, HP recovery equals 40, around 140% 40, attack, her attack. No, what? There we go. Now her new one. Cherry Vintage Siri. Pretty cute, pretty hot. Siri plus 15, level 90, HP 11k, attack 15, defense 900, speed 12. So her HP is slightly, a, slightly less than her original character. Her attack is a lot more defense. I believe it's slightly up. Yeah, by five points. And her speed is slightly above hers. Original. Alright. Attack. Her first attack. Moon Drunk. Alright, let's try to pronounce that. Katashiro Moon Drunk. Damn, she drunk. She likes to drink. That means she's of age. Of course she's of age. Look at her. I think. Oh, no. When you put drunk in a word, with her being in it, that means she's old enough to drink. Now, let's read her deals damage. Or deals 70%. I'm tired. All right, deals seventy percent. <laughs> deals seventy-two percent attack as damage, three times if the caster is inflicted by stat by five stacks of moon drunk, while successfully dealing attack on a target, recovers HP of one ally. What? While successfully dealing attack on a target, recovered HP of one ally with the lowest HP. Okay. <laughs> I thought it covers one HP. There you go, you fuckhead. Here's one HP. Don't die. With the lowest HP by 180% of the caster's attack after action, grants the caster moon drunk and increases the caster's move gauge by 20% with 50% chance. Fix, let's get that right. With a 50% fixed chance, Moon Drunk healing plus 5% lasts for the entire battle, stacks up to 5. That's pretty good. I like it. Not a bad way to start. Range, but she, she does not do a lot of damage. <laughs> she does not do a lot of damage. But yeah. But if you get her attack up, yeah, should do pretty good. All right, gonna be insane feast. Deals 300% attack as damage after action recovers two allies with the lowest HP by 20%. Oh, the, okay, let's re I was reading that wrong. Okay, let's read that again because my brain is fuzzy. Deals 300% attack as damage after action. Recovers two allies with the lowest HP by 20% of the cast max HP. So, yeah, it, they really want to focus on HP and attack on this build. And randomly grants three allies weakened defense. Oh, we know what this is. Weakness, defense, weak, weakness, damage, di taken, minus 25%, lasts for three turns, stacks up to 80% of the other damage reduction effects. It's pretty good. Her ultimate deal. <sighs> Range, four enemies, deals 380% attack as damage and inflicts charm after action. After action, recovers all allies' HP by 20%. Pretty cool. Of the cast max HP. 
if the caster is inflicted by five stacks of moon drunk, opens 15k shield. What? Damn, that's a good ultimate. For the allies, for the two allies with the lowest HP, Charm reduces. I'll probably, I'll probably be herself. She'll probably give herself shield. She's gonna be targeted. Charm reduces attack and keeps on dealing normal attack on allies before the st status wears off. Lasts for one turn. Oh, I love it. I love it. Pounting Fox. Weakness Cloak 4. Weakness Damage Taken 30%. That's pretty good. She, she has her technique. She's not going to take damage from technique. That's pretty good. Tipsy Fox. Before the turn starts, grants the casters two stacks of Moon Drunk. Damn! Right off the bat? Foxheim Incarnation. When the battle starts, grants immunity to death once HP hits less than 1%. This stat wears off and recovers the cast HP by 60%. Wow! First turn knockout. She's not going to die. That's pretty good. Moon Drunk killing... Healing dealt plus 5% less for the entire battle stacks up to 5 times. Oh yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. She's better than her original OG character. Also, I think you should... Oh no, no. You shouldn't summon for this character. You shouldn't summon for either of these characters or on this banner. Save your diamonds. Skip this banner. Far Look, if you want to get this character real bad, just farm the point event for 18k of the point events for the sakura cake you can easily get her easily get her and then you're done because all she needs is if we take a quick look so you can believe me but i'm pretty sure you'll figure this out by yourselves but if you look oh what the hell it takes grimoires it takes the five star awakener grimoires. So she's pretty easy to get. And if anything, she's a great she's a great character. Is she's meta breaking? No, she's not, but she's like a pretty fun character if you think about it. She's she's not a bad character. Her Siri her original character is uh, pretty bad. Not like super worse, but like, you know, pretty, pretty bad. Pretty bad compared to her new version. But yeah, great character. Should you summon? No, I think you should skip this banner. Save your diamonds. Because last month, for almost event after event, we just had two meta breaking Two meta breaking characters with Sadolphon. We had we had Satan and we had where is she? I still need to get her leveled up. And Sadolphon, help the Hell General. I need to get her leveled up. She, I'm slacking because I was focused on on Satan. But yeah, we had those two characters come out back to back. Diamonds were spent. Bunny was saved though. Oh, I'm glad we pulled them. But yeah, save your money, save your diamonds, skip this banner, just farm the minimum, and then what you should do is just go ahead and do the chapters to farm diamonds. Also, I'm going to make a video on how to farm diamonds. This is going to be a controversial video because you're going to be like, how are we going to do it? I'll tell you, okay, this is a perfect, perfect time. But yeah, other than that, skip this banner, save your damage, save your money. Just, you know, farm the event as far as you can up until you can get a dupe of Siri. But other than that, that's going to be it for the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Comment down below. Are you going to be summoning on this banner? Are you going to be skipping it? Did you get the character on the first free multi? Also, let me know why you're going to skip the banner or why you summoned on the banner. And hit that bell notification so you know Siri can let me know that you you know. That I don't know where I was going with that. But she's going to let me know when you hit the bell notification because... She's going to be appreciated with the views. And she's going to be all over you. If you laugh at 3 a.m., she's going to appear in your bedroom. All right. Other than that, thank you for watching. And good luck on your summons. Other than that, continue committing etchy sin.